Jawaban cerdas Anis Baswedan di Forum ASEAN 2016. Let me begin with uh, Anis. What, given the framework of the discussion and the disruption of the fourth industrial revolution, what should a government's priorities be from the point of view of policy in terms of planning for the future? Uh, you belong to a country with a big population, with a growing population, and a huge uh, proportion of young people who are going to be really impacted uh, by these changes. Th thank you. I think that the challenge that we have in Indonesia is also perhaps similar to many uh, developing uh, countries across uh, the globe. Preparing our youth, preparing our next generations to be part of the uh, fourth industrial revolutions era and for that look at our profile or our pictures today I said uh, earlier of oh, yesterday the same uh, the phenomenon that we are facing our students were 21st century students our teachers were 20th century teachers and our classroom is 19th century classrooms. And this is perhaps a phenomenon that is, facing, that is being faced across the globe. And, and I think to improve uh, this, or to, to tackle these, these gaps, government need to focus on empowering stakeholders. In our case, stakeholders of education. And the key stakeholder educations are parents and teachers. These are two agents that is often overlooked whenever we're talking about preparing our next generations. For teachers, we focus so much on teachers, but parents are often uh, overlooked. And they are the most important. They are the first, but they are the least prepared agent to prepare for, for the next uh, generation. So focusing on that. But the other thing, that is also critical is as we are undergoing these transformations, many of the jobs that we are now seeing may disappear. That has been said many, many times. And when it comes to education, the question is often raised, can teachers be replaced by technology? Can then we ask technology to help preparing our next generations? I often approach it in a different slant. What kind of teachers is replaceable by technology? What kind of teachers is not replaceable by technology? And I think this is similar to any other jobs available. As we are transforming ourselves, we need to equip ourselves with the new uh, competence, new uh, skills that made us irreplaceable in that sense.